Hello, Andy from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries here, and uh, where are we going today, my handsomes? We're going to Bridge Motorcycles. Let's go. Fueled up. Cameras of every variety here. Exeter are very, very, very keen on their uh, speed cameras. Let's see if I can bypass some of this stuff. So we'll see if I can get any info out of the service people about what they about to do, have done, etc. Uh, yeah, so. Let's go in with an open mind after the very bad experience I had previously. Cat 53 bridge motorcycles. Let's hope things go according to plan. Be careful of that diesel spill they've just thoughtfully put there. Thank you, thank you whichever diesel car driver did that. Service department. It's all doing nicely. Oh, that's a very nice uh, Triumph T100. Right, we're here. Let's go and see the service boys. So I'm booked in at um, Bridge Motorcycles Exeter, a pleasant young man called Cameron uh, just sorted me out, told me that uh, I've got somebody coming to visit and that's uh, Exeter Rider, so he should be in here in half now, so that'd be good. It's a major recall, so they're going to take about four or five hours at least. Uh, there's uh, jobs include uh, removing the headlamp, uh, replacing the uh, rubber grommet behind it, the headlamp rim itself clutch alternator oil change of course um, so quite a, a range of things to do hmm that might explain why my battery exploded eh anyway so far good experience coffee on the way just chill out for a bit here I am talking to Exeter Rider who's uh, Hello, Andy. <laughs> we're meeting Here comes up the video now. I can meeting see up now. for coffee and chat, and, uh, and uh, bike's still in, having its work done. I'm going to take a wander about, see so if I can find some of these places that uh, Steve or Wax the Rider mentioned to me. Uh, Cameron, the helpful young man at the service desk, attempted to find me something suitable I can take out. But realistically, due to the change over the redges, there's nothing much available at the moment that fits. So whilst the near interminable waiting goes on now is a good time to remind you that only a proportion of the viewers of these videos are actually subscribers so it really really help this channel if you hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost anything and similarly pop the like uh, button as well and if you can add some comments i'd love to hear some feedback what you like what you don't like thank you very much <laughs> Good on, Good to see you. See you too. There he goes. So with all the waiting time, I shot quite a lot of bonus content. Some of it will be coming out as shorts, but uh, I'm going to be putting others up on my members only area. I'm going to go and find out if there's any bikes I can actually ride while I'm waiting. He's giving me a a bit of a going over. Dry things off, I think. That's nice. This will be clean for the start of the ride. Right, there she is on BSA. Thank goodness that's all been done. Give her a bit of a going over as well. Marvellous. 
Where are we going now? We're going home. Let's go. Wait for the light to go out. Press the ignition key. Right. Well, that has been a long day. It's now five past five, nearly five, four minutes past five. It is a full eight hours. Very long day. Right, everything's in place. Key in. Got all the recording gear. Time to go home, and I think I'll stop vlogging very shortly. So, there you are, BSA Health Check. I haven't collected my cleaning kit because uh, I haven't got anywhere to put it. I should have thought about that. Oh, I love riding this bike. It's so intuitive. So, Cameron, the young man at the service desk, very helpful, very good customer skills, unlike a certain man at Thor Motorcycles, helpful, kept me updated. He did apologise for the long wait, and it was a long wait, but I think if I can go away with a peace of mind, then I, it'll be worth it. And I had a really good natter with Steve of Extra Rider. Uh, a few other guys looked at some lovely bikes, and yes, it's very tempting, isn't it? Is that deliberate? You know, they to leave you there long enough so you crack and start buying something. Well, maybe one day. One day soon. Right. So, I'll report back on the effectiveness of the, the work, or if there's any concerns or things to worry about. But just for now, let's consider this episode closed. The unfortunate breakdowns, uh, the unhelpful dealer, uh, the defects in quality for things like the rack, and the uncertainty. And we'll put that all to bed and start afresh. Let's hope for a long and happy relationship with this bike. So. I've been Andy, Captain Clumsy of Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. I know where I'm going, I'm coming home. You can't come with me, but wherever I'm going next, are you going to come with me? Hope so. Anyway, hopefully see you then. Bye for now.